Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Buddy Fit by Amy and this is your Dumbbell Core Strength Supersets Workout. In this workout, we are going to work the entire body using supersets, so going back and forth between two exercises in each circuit, but we're also gonna be incorporating every other exercise with your core. So some of it will be upper and core, lower and core. Either way, your core is working hard with the rest of your body. I'll be working with a couple different options of dumbbells today. You use what you have available to you. And of course, I'm gonna give you lots of options to work to your level. Are you ready? Let's do it. Go ahead and start just by moving your body, just with a gentle march, pumping those arms, whatever you need to do to get the blood flowing, get our bodies moving. Let's roll those shoulders, starting small, taking them to the back, and then make them a little bit bigger right through here. We're gonna keep this warm up short so we can get right into the good stuff. But of course, if you need more of a warm up or cool down, let's take them to the front. Please get it on your own. We're just gonna get a little bit of mobility, a little movement prep, and of course, get our body's temperatures up. <sighs> really important when we're adding load and when we're ready to move. Big stretch through those arms right through here and then little side lunge with it, little step out. So we're working with supersets today. If you've never done supersets before, it is a fun way to work out. We're gonna be working with two exercises. Occasionally we'll do supersets with more. Sometimes we call that tri-sets, cluster sets. Ah, you keep going, I'm gonna tie my shoe. Supersets usually means two exercises alternating between those. Let's keep our feet planted, reach and reach. So shift your weight, reach one arm up, one arm down. So two exercises going back and forth. And the way we're gonna do it is one exercise will be more of an isolation. Let's take it right here. I, Y, and T with those arms. Shoulder mobility, stretch it out. Looks like this. So one exercise is gonna be more of a back to basics isolation. And then our second one, we're gonna engage the core a little bit more. So usually it's gonna be a compound movement. So we're getting maybe upper in core, maybe lower in core. Add a little hinge if you want with that to stretch out through that back. Either way, your core is gonna be getting a lot of work and a lot of indirect work. We're not gonna be doing a million crunches or a million planks. We're gonna be doing a lot of stabilization, a lot of working through our weights and through our upper body to get that core working hard. Let's take it right here, flat back down, and then round it up. Now, of course, as always, I will give you options. We are all in different places in our journey. I'm gonna remind you to be where you are today slowly roll it all the way up. All right, let's do a little squat and then roll that hip. It can be a little half squat if you want, just to open it up. So be where you are today in your journey, in your fitness level. Remember, this is your workout. I'll give you options. You can always take the option that is best for you. I want you to be challenged, but in a way that feels good for you. Let's tap it back right here. Open up that hip. So two exercises back and forth. Each circuit only has those two exercises, but I may give you a few little variations. Let's hold this one here. Press that heel down first, reach those arms back. And then if you want, drop it all the way down, reach it up. You can hold it here or reach under. Get a little world's greatest stretch. We're also in those circuits going to go through each exercise three times. Again, alternating. Go ahead and step that up. Same thing, other side. Press it down, arms in the front this time. And then you can either stay here or up on that toe, take it down here. So two exercises, three times through, and we're gonna go descending in time, so down in time. So 40 seconds of work, then 30, then 20. If you can, take it back to that high plank, or you can meet me on the mat down onto those knees. I just want you to get that core fired up and ready to go. You can go a little forward and back, either on the toes or the knees. A little drop of the hip, stretch it out. Again, knees or toes. And if you want a little down dog, pedal those feet. Down dog to plank, up to you. Right through here. So two exercises, we go down in time, both in our work and our rest. Go ahead and walk those hands back and then come up nice and slow with options step and reach across. So your heart rate should stay up. Supersets are really good for that. I would encourage you to go heavy, especially on those back to basics moves, because we're gonna be getting a lot of things working 
and going between those two exercises. Please, if you need to go lighter, but try to go heavy. Again, especially on that first exercise, which is more of your back to basics strength, all right? So, full body, big focus on core, super sets, and we're gonna have a good time doing it. All right, team, so our very first exercise is going to be a stationary lunge. I'm gonna grab my heavies here. I have brand new 20 pounders. So, you can do a regular lunge, we can mix it up, but I want it to be stationary, so we're not moving into it. Sometimes called a split squat. We're just gonna drop it down and up. Right side first, here we go. Right here. Now, this is your split squat or your stationary lunge. If you need to modify, you can of course shorten your range of motion, or I also love a good tap back. This would be moving into it, but you keep that weight a little bit forward. Now, as we go into our second and third set, I'll give you some options to mix it up, but we are going to keep it stationary. Right through here, we've got 10 seconds. Woo! Can feel the difference in these 20s. Last one, and breathe. You can set those weights down if your hands need a break. Same thing, other side. So again, stationary lunge or split squat, it's sometimes called. Dropping it down if you need to. Tap back or modify a little, make a little less range of motion. But other side in three, two, one. Now remember on this lunge, it's okay to hinge forward just a bit, right? You don't have to be standing straight up and tall. You certainly don't wanna be flaring those ribs out. But what we wanna avoid is rounding in that back. So even for a little bit forward, shoulders back and drive it up. Now what we're gonna superset this with is a windmill with a press. So I'm gonna show that to you when we get to our break. And with that, we're gonna get some upper body push as well as that core, our obliques, and also all those core stabilizing muscles that we love. Drop it down. All right, with this, you may wanna go a little lighter or lighter to medium. I'm gonna try these 15s, see how it goes. If you want, you can go a little lighter up top, heavier down below. Watch me here. I'm gonna do a press down in the windmill, back to center, rack it up. If that doesn't feel right for you, just do the windmill. Here we go. Press. As you come up, you're using those obliques, right? Our muscles, our core muscles on the side. And here. What I like about this is I can go a little heavier on the press because I know I'm not cranking out tons and tons of reps because I get this windmill in between. Slow and controlled. We don't have to break any speed records here. And bring it in, one more. Yes, there we go. All right, breathe for a second. Same thing, other side. Give your hands a break if you need it. Turn that other toe out. We press, we hinge, and it's a small little rotation. As we come up, push through that back leg. Stand up straight all through the core and upper body. Here we go. And down. Looking up at that top weight, and if this just doesn't feel right for your shoulder, you can also just keep one weight down below and just do the motion. You'll still get shoulder mobility up top. And breathe. Up. Here. Wrap it in. Woo! And down. Strong in that core. 10 seconds. And here. Last one. And relax. All right, set those weights down. Now we're down to 30 seconds. You can keep that regular lunge or you can cross it over into a curtsy. Either way, it's stationary. I'm gonna go curtsy. It's only 30 seconds. We'll get right side first in three, two, one. If you're doing the curtsy, you're still keeping those shoulders back, chest open, your hips are square, so I'm not twisting in my torso, I've just crossed one leg behind. Pushing up through that outer thigh and glute to get something a little different. 
Up to you. If the curtsy lunge doesn't feel right, just keep a regular lunge or a tap back. Right here, last one. Yes, breathe, right? Then we're gonna cross it to that other side. You can do curtsy lunge, you can keep it regular, up to you. 30 seconds, so less time with our work, but also less time with our rest. Here we go, three, two, take it down. When we get to that 20 seconds, it's gonna feel like nothing, right? It'll feel like something, but this will feel like your longest circuit because both have a right side and a left side. That won't always be the case, I promise. Here, to here. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, team. Set those to the side. Get those lighter weights if you need to. We got 30 seconds. Press and windmill in three. Get set. Two, inside of the leg. Here we go. Up. Now remember, it does not matter how many we get on this because so much of the work is this part, right? Is stabilizing as we go down and up. Shoulders are working, obliques are working, no matter what. We're getting a lot of stability and core stability. Last one. And breathe, get set, get ready for that other side. I don't know about you, but my heart rate is up. I hope you're feeling that too. Remember, when we go heavier, we're gonna get that heart pumping. We're gonna get that cardio in no matter what. Here we go, up. And here. Slow and controlled. And here. Yes. Woo. Can we get one more? Yes, you can. Breathe, team. We're going right into that last round of supersets. Here's what I want, team. If you can, we can do a push lunge. I love this one because you're really staying in that front leg. Push, drive it out. You can drop that back knee a little, but really we're going forward, push out of it. This is a great modification. If that back leg bothers you or that back knee bothers you in a lunge, lean forward into it, push out of it. That's what we got, or regular lunge, 20 seconds each side. Let's do it. Push lunge. Really get down. And again, if you want to drop that back knee a little bit, you can, because it helps you get a little lower. But feel the difference, right? Glutes and hamstrings, as well as those quads. One more. Yes. Switch your legs. Push lunge, leaning into it. Three, two, one. Forward and back. Forward. Push out of it. Yes, it's gonna make your core work a little harder. Again, if that doesn't feel right, if your knees don't feel stable, you can take it to a regular stationary lunge. You do you. Last one. Boom. Oh, man. Last time with that windmill. Let's do it, team. Whew. Let's keep exactly what we have been doing, so we're only gonna get a few. 20 seconds right, 20 seconds left. Let's make them back to back, because we can. Three, two, one. Up. And here. Yes. Don't rush it. It's 20 seconds, maybe we'll get four. Maybe not. Three, two, other side, here we go. Maybe you have to switch your weights, that's okay. Just take your time getting into it. Boom. Again, reminder, this first round is gonna feel like your longest because it's right side, left side. And breathe. All right, team, set those down. How 
are we doing? I don't know about you. Woo! Oh man, it looks like, did my timer stop? Ha, huh, there we go. Grab some water, just making sure. Doesn't matter if you're tracking or not. I just find it helpful to see where my heart rate is. Cheers, y'all. But I will always remind you, don't worry about the numbers. All right, worry about how you're feeling. Worry about the fact, don't worry about the fact that you showed up today and that's all that matters. All right, team, so next round, we're taking it to your classic deadlift, right? We're here, stand up straight. I may give you some variations on rounds two or three. Then we're gonna take it down to a plank row. So one or two dumbbells, either hands here or hands here, but we're gonna make it a pause row. So we're gonna pause, hold, and then switch. Row and hold, and then switch. So I'm gonna aim for my 20s for both. We'll see how it goes. We're gonna start with that deadlift, so grab your heavies. It's a hinge, drive your hips to the back. Core engage. Let's do it. And stand up straight. I love the deadlift. It's kind of like the windmill for me. Even though we added a press to that windmill. You feel that nice, good stretch on your way down. And then as you stand up, you feel that work. We're strengthening all through the back of the body. So glutes, hamstrings, back, core, right here. Then we're gonna continue that into the row, but we're gonna add that plank. You can also be on your knees. You can also keep it standing if that's better for you. Last one, stand up. Two, the floor team. Again, you can hold those dumbbells or hands on either side. If you need to do it standing, you can go here, pause and pause. If you wanna be here in your plank position, Let's take it here. It's a plank row, but it's a pause row. So hold at the top. Three, two, one. Row and hold. Back down. Woo! Row and hold. Back down. And again, this is just a matter of preference. I actually think I like it better with my hands flat on the ground, but it's up to you. Maybe you feel better holding the dumbbells. Remember, we're gonna get a little movement through the hips and through the core, but you just wanna stay forward into that plank, feet nice and wide, and squeezing those back muscles. Pull towards the hip, so we're really using the lats, those muscles down along the spine, keeping it out of that upper back, even though they're working too. Breathe, stretch it out. All right, team, we're back up 30 seconds this time. Here's what we got with our deadlift. We're gonna take it sumo, toes out, down, Stand up straight. If that doesn't feel good for you, keep your regular deadlift. We got 30 seconds. Still a hinge, still driving the hips to the back. Here we go. Sumo and squeeze. You're gonna feel the difference there, right? You're still keeping those weights close to the front of your body. You're still squeezing the glutes at the top. Squeezing the armpits and the shoulder blades at the top, right? Right here. And squeeze, whoo, down, and up. Last one, yes, take it down. All right, team, again, you can be standing, you can be on your knees with this pause row, or you can be in that plank. Either way, I want that core engaged. Here we go. Up and hold, and down, up and hold. I don't know about you, but I'm finding it a lot harder to hold that weight at the top with my left, with this 20, but I'm gonna keep going for it. Yes, whoo, there we go. Good core positioning, last one each way. We are at our 20 seconds. I told you that first one was gonna feel long, the rest are gonna go quick. Your pick, regular deadlift, sumo deadlift, or regular with a little wider stance. That's what I'm gonna do, combine the two. Here we go, 20 seconds in three, two, one. So I'm just going wider deadlift, stand up straight. Down and up, yes you can. And breathe. Down and up. Squeeze. Three, 
two. How about one more? Yes. Into that plank, last 20 seconds of that row. Plank, knees are standing. Let's get it done. Here we go. How about just your regular row this time? Don't worry about the pause. Let's see if we can crank out a few more. Right here. Yes. You're doing it, team. Boom. Ah. Last one. Relax. Whoo. All right, team, stretch it back. Grab us of water if you want it, and then meet me down on the mat. Your next round is on the mat. We're going back to some upper push. With a press. Here's what we got, team. Again, just like we did with our lunges and our deadlifts, I'm gonna give you some options. Regular press, right? We get chest, shoulders, tries. Then we'll rotate it, then we'll do a close. So have a couple close by. We're gonna do a little side plank with a clamshell so we get a little extra lower, but you can also just keep a regular side plank. All right, I'm gonna start with these 20s. It's just been fun to have them. We're gonna start with that press, 40 seconds. Regular, remember you're coming down at that 45 degrees. I want you to keep that core engaged. Start with those feet flat, and we're taking it up for 40. Three, two, one. And here, nice and strong. And this is where I'll also remind you, if you're somebody who has a bench, a weight bench available to you, you can always add it in with these moves on our back. We'll give you more range of motion. You don't have to have one. Don't feel like you have to go out and get one. But if you do have one, you're gonna get more range of motion, more of that stretch as you come down, right? 10 seconds. Yes. Three, two, one. Oh, man. All right, team, turn onto your side. Here's what it looks like with just body weight. Clamshell and hip lift. You can also just do the hip lift for your core. You can also do them separate. Clamshell and lift, up to you. But we're gonna get core, we're gonna get a little hip action. I'm gonna go a little lighter here with my 15. Up to you, we got 40 seconds each side. If the weight feels clunky, take it body weight. Here we go. Slowly down, woo! I know, that's a lot of weight. We're used to doing this with the mini band, which is also an option, or just body weight. It's gonna make it harder for your core. It's also gonna make it harder for that clamshell. If you feel like you're only able to barely lift, then take it body weight. I want that mobility as well, that hip mobility. So don't feel like you have to add the weight. It's gonna make it harder in all the places, but if you feel like that's really affecting your range of motion, take it down. Five, four, three, two, one. Flip over to that other side. I'm gonna swing my legs around because ah, I can. Whew. I have to figure out where this mic goes. All right, team, we got 40 seconds again. Lift and lift or separate them out one and then the other with or without a weight. In three, two, elbow beneath the shoulder. Here we go. Slow and controlled. So I want you to think about it like that windmill, right? We're getting a lot of obliques, a lot of side abs today. But the idea being, a lot of the work is not on the movement, it's on the stabilization, right? As we hold and as we come down slowly, that's where that work is happening, to stabilize right through here, right through here. Remember those glutes and hips are directly connected to that pelvic floor, that deep core. Five, four, three, two, one. Back onto your back team, rotating press. We're gonna turn our arms around and here. I'm gonna go a little lighter because I'm gonna know I'm gonna need to. So we're turning as we come up, keep that core engaged. If it feels good for you, you can also have the core working hard right here or working hard right here. Here we go. Up, turn them in and then back down. Turn them in. I know. Up and in. Here we go. If you have having the feet in tabletop, 
feels stable to you and you feel like you can keep your core engaged, which is what we want, take them there. Why not? Five, four, three, two, one. All right, team, onto your side. I'm gonna grab my 10 pound for this clamshell. Look at this family of dumbbells. My 10 was feeling a little lonely back there. We've got 30 seconds each side, with or without that clamshell, with or without the weight. Let's do it, lift and lift. And you can also adjust where you're holding that weight. It could be a little higher, it could be a little lower, or again, no weight. Do what's best for you. Your workout, you do you. Breathe. Right here. Yes, core, I know. And relax, switch to that other side. Here we go. Get set, clamshell, side plank. Three, two, one. And here, yes. All the way up, all the way down, very controlled. Then we got our 20 second rounds. Three, two, one. Relax. All right, team, this time if you can, keep, keep those elbows in close on that press. You can have your feet up for some extra core, up to you. We got 20 seconds. <laughs> And we're gonna keep that core engaged the entire time, whether you're here or here, elbows in or out. Here we go, up and down. Breathe, whoo, yes. Up and down. Three, two, one, and relax. Turn on your side, 20 seconds, lift and lower. We're gonna take it a little quicker here as we come up, 20 seconds right, 20 seconds left, obliques, hips, glutes, in three, two, one, and down. Maybe this is when you wanna take the weight out so you can get a little bit more speed. We're not rushing, but we're staying engaged. And here. One, swing those legs around. Same thing, other side, lift and lower. In three, two, one, 20 seconds. Right here. Open up the hip, lift with the obliques. Really think that you're lifting from the side and that core is staying engaged. Right here, boom. Last one and relax. Up onto your feet, team. You can grab some water, but I want you to watch me while you do. We have one more quick circuit. These tens are gonna get some love because we're taking a bicep curl with a plie. So watch me here. You're gonna turn your body just a bit. You're gonna curl at the top. So my dumbbells are coming on either side. If that just feels too weird for you, just take your weights right in the center. That's okay. If we can, we're gonna get a little rotation. Go ahead and grab those weights. Let's do it, here we go. Home stretch team, last circuit. So we got plie squat, lots of legs, lots of inner thighs. We got outer thighs on that clamshell. We got some biceps. So we had lots of upper push. Now we're back to upper pull. Getting it done. Yes. Whew. Getting that heart pumping. Let's finish it out strong. 10 seconds right here. Our core, we're gonna superset with some mountain climber and a pull through. Three, two, one. One weight. If you want, you can take this on your knees or you can take it standing climber. But we're gonna go climber. Four, three, two, one. Pull that weight across. Four, three, two, one. 
pull that weight across. So the weight is on the side, and then you do those knees. Run it or jump it or standing. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. And pull. Four, three, two, one. And pull. So you can run it like I'm doing or just take those knees across, but make sure that weight is cleared. And then here. And I know we're tired because we're getting towards the end of this workout. So be aware as you get tired, those hips want to shift back. Those hips want to shift high. Let's keep them forward and low and strong. Last one, four, three, two, one, and stretch. This one's gonna be a burner. It's gonna keep your heart rate up, but we're gonna get done quickly. 30 seconds, plie and twist curl. Ha! Ah, too many weights, I love it. Three, two, one. Hang with me because we are so close. Can you feel it? I know you guys out there can see the clock ticking, right? So you know we're close. No need to rush. Take your time. You can always alternate if you need to. Try not to let the chest drop. As we get tired, sometimes we want to go here. Let's keep it open. As we get low, three, two, one. Pull through in that climber. Let's get it done for 30 seconds only. Oh man, you guys, we are so close. Here we go. Four, three, two. On your count. Don't worry about my height. Woo! Yes! Pull it all the way across. Stay stable in the center, so stay lifted. And breathe. Yes, team! Three, two, one. Relax. One more round. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. It's gonna go so fast. Join me on your feet. I know this one's a lot of up and down, but you can do it. 20 seconds to go. Woo! In three. Breathe. Two, one. Let's do it. Little plie, get low and up. And up. 10 to go. Three, two, one, and breathe. This time, forget about your pull through. Just do that climber. You can do it standing. You can do it down, but join me. Here we go. 20 seconds climber, whatever that means to you. Knees can go straight in. Knees can cross. You can tap it. You can run it. Just get that core engaged. Stay lifted because this is a team Last move of the last circuit. Three, two, one. Stretch it back. Oh, y'all. I know. I feel it too. Heart rate's up. But you know what? You know what? I think we got time for a bonus move, right? I know you're tired. And listen, don't worry. That bonus move is not going to involve a mountain climber because we just did that. It's not even, not even going to involve a plank. But here's what we got. We did a lot of triceps with our press. We're gonna isolate those triceps. So one or two dumbbells. I want you to watch me here. It's three of each. Three triceps overhead. Three, two, one. Pretend like I did three. And then we're gonna go three, two, one. Cross knees. And then three racked squats. Three, two, one. All right? Three, three, and three. 60 seconds. One dumbbell or two. Let's start up top. Catch your breath. 60, and then we're done. Here we go. Triceps, three, two, core stays engaged. One, bring them down chest level, twist, right and left. You don't have to move with the arms, just stabilize, rack them, squat, three, two, one. Press them back up, get set, here we go. Three, two, and maybe you're faster or slower than me, that is okay. As long as you have good form. 
high. Get low in that squat if you can. We're so close, team. Can we get through one more round? Twist. Yes! Three, finish it out strong. Two, one, and boom. Oh, man. Set those weights to the side. Catch your breath, team. Shake out the arms, shake out the legs. Just take a minute to bask in that feeling. I know you might be feeling tired, I know I am, but I love to think about the blood, the oxygen just flowing through my body, right? Bringing in all the good stuff, transferring it to our organs, to our brain, to our cells, flushing out all the bad stuff, right? Sweating it out, the negativity, the stress, the anxiety, what might be causing you some stress today. Let it all go with this workout. It's going with this workout. Trust me, you don't need a detox. You don't need something, a supplement to get the good stuff out, the bad stuff in. Use your movement. That is what it is for, amongst many other reasons, right? Ha. Get a little hamstring stretch here. We're gonna keep this stretch short, of course, so we can get you out of here. But please get some stretching on your own, whatever you might be feeling, shoulders, quads, hips. Get some more stretching. You can check out my extended cool down. And of course, don't forget to check out all the links in the description below. Leave me a comment. Leave me a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And of course, spread the Body Fit love. Tell people about the channel. Join us in the Body Fit Athletic Club if you are not there already. That's where you get all the extras. That's where I get to know you. You get more guidance and direct support from me, from our dietitian in the Athletic Club. It's such an amazing community. Would love to have you there. Whew. Thank you so much for being here today. Listen, we didn't do a single crunch and I know you're gonna feel your core tomorrow. Let's get one big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your dumbbell core strength supersets workout. Great job, everybody.